this episode made me just hyper conscious of the fact that the show's production staff has to know what they're doing. And I almost feel they're approaching Burnham's emotionality as kind of like a trolling parody at this point, because (laughs) she's, she, she gets emotional about everything, every scene, every scene. She's like crying about something. And Mm. I think they've just completely abandoned the Vulcan thing, unless they're saying that her overreaction is a byproduct of being raised by the Vulcans, but that's never been really made explicit or yeah. aware to her. No, I don't think you're going to hear the fact that she was raised by Vulcans again in the again, show. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> now that, now that uh, Sarek is yeah. gone, it's it's over. Yeah. Um, yeah, I actually I actually really liked the scene where they like doped her up and she starts acting giddy and weird. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, but I, yes, she is very over emotional in this episode. However, I will give it a little bit of a pass because if there was ever a time for her to be over emotional, this is probably it. Just having jumped a thousand years into the future, mm-hmm. she's probably dealing with some stuff. Um, and to do that, yeah, I need I, to I need to give away her Vulcan background. So you think people should just abandon the Vulcan oh, backstory yeah, I here? Yes, I I I I highly doubt that's going to really come up again. Uh, unless they need it for a specific plot point and then they're going to pull it out of mothballs. But I, I don't think it's like going to make in, influence any of her decisions because it hasn't really up to this point. So, Cause to, to me, the problem here is that it's part of the vocabulary and the religious sentimentality of this. It's like everything is just so brilliant that you get brought to tears by it. There's no, there's no rational understanding of Burnham going like, let me figure out where I am, what the fuck's going on, and how do I find a discovery? She just sits on a rock and is like, I need to find the discovery. It's like, right, get yeah. fucking in motion then. Go like, you're a Starfleet officer who's a Vulcan. Like, go walk around. Not a Vulcan, but you know what I mean? Like, go walk around. Because I'm not I'm not giving up on that. If you're going to make this the backbone of that character, then you have to, for some reason... Yeah, I don't know. I it's Because it's like... It, it seems like one of those things where it's like, yeah, we started the show with this great concept, but we've got two pe- this guy and he's got a twin brother. And then after the first season, it's like this twin brother character really not doing anything. What if we have him move away? It's like, mm-hmm. all right, now the twin brother's moved away and we never talk. It's like Sonny Crockett's son yeah. in Miami Vice. He's a big plot point for the first. He's like six episodes out of the first season. And then after that, his wife moves away. And every now and then it comes up in conversation, but he never never deals with his son really well, but but i i guess the argument that that's a different character this would be like tony soprano in the season in the first episode of season two is no longer involved in the mob and never talks about his time in the mob anymore and you're like what the, the hell happened like he was he, he was a he's a mafia capo why, why has this been completely abandoned but I, I think that the problem for me is that it's not hard to make that connection there mm-hmm. to if this series is so invested in the emotion of things that is peak emotional exploration because she's a Vul- mm-hmm. she's raised by the Vulcans. So there's a there's a natural thing there and she seems to so I guess my other question to you, what is she overcompensating for when she goes under the drug influence? She says that I, I'm too helpful. I try to help everybody. I'm overcompensating. What's she overcompensating for? Uh I don't know. Life, man. You must defend this know. you must defend this series. That I, that's the that's the missing link to me. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know how to explain it, but I can't stand her level of uh, weeping to the point where she doesn't do something instead of getting down into the nuts and bolts of like how some military officer you'd assume would handle this situation and try to find people. You know, it's mm-hmm. just, I, I, and I, I just find the emotion overly large and disconnected from the setup. To the point where I roll my eyes every time it has. It's just like, oh, Jesus, here she goes again. Yeah. She's going to talk about something. Oh, Jesus, here she goes again. Um, but I might be overly negative about it at this point. I just, it just, I find it just tiresome. I find it really yeah. tiresome to, to watch and listen to. Yeah, it does feel like it's turning into a, or it has been a, a dramatic crutch where it's like, yeah, if somebody kind of says something really uh, uh, emotionally charged with, kind of tears in their eyes then it, people respond to it as like oh man the drama yeah you know 
When I honestly saw that in the Federation flag th- sequence at the end. A lot of the Reddit people were like, my eyes teared up when they raised the flag. It's honestly, like, what the fuck are we talking about? That's the only time where I think they should have done it. Like, maybe yeah. they should have done it a little bit at the beginning when she thinks Discovery's been destroyed. But then save that stuff. Like, if you if she's in this a thousand years in the future, she's lost her friends. She doesn't know if they're going to show up ever. Um, they've been through this crazy gunfight and she's trying to adapt everything and she's the federation's been destroyed for 100 years and then she finds this like one uh morsel of of hope yeah her past that, life yeah and that's the thing that makes her makes her break down sure that's fine but she's Especially she's the, the, the hope play she can't yeah, he, the other guy can't be the hope she has to be the hope i mean the guy the the flag bearer there getting choked up about it too and i was like i, I bought that i, I was fine <laughs> yeah, with that because yeah. it's like yeah the guy's he's been, been waiting doing this for 40 years like a psychopath yeah 